Hi. Um, you would like to take a photo and create a painting like this? I mean, it looks cool, right? Well, we're going to do this, but we're going to use Coral Essentials. The Coral, Coral Painter Essential 5 to do that. And I'm going to use Coral Essential Painter 5 because it is $44.99. And you can create a painting like I just did. Of course, I have Coral Painter 2015 also, but we can just do a simple, quick painting in Essentials 5. So you can download it, try it for 30 days, do a bunch of paintings using my method, sell a few, and hopefully you can get enough money, like $44.99, and get the painter Essential 5. So, I have loaded the image already, and all you do is, uh, it'll come up here and say Browse, and you click Browse, put in your picture, and there it is. And what I use is the pastel drawings to get a basics down. Let the computer do most of the work at this point. I, when, uh, when it finishes, you'll see that the image the image like on her skin and stuff has like layers and I don't like that um, looks like waves and stuff and it looks like the Mona Lisa there um, you can do this in Coral Painter 2015 too um, you can follow along using Coral Painter to do exactly the same thing. They have the same brushes. Coral Painter has more brushes. Uh, these are just the essentials. Now you see this thing has a little watch on it. When the watch stops, that means the painting stops. When that blue uh, becomes black, then the auto painting has stopped. It stopped. So now, you see how this looks. Like layered there. Uh, I don't like that. So we're going to fix that. But first, we're going to work on the hair. And I use the Blender Coarse Smear Jitter. And we just go along the same direction as the hair. You see how that's coming out much better already? And it gives itself some hair strands. But we can throw in some extra hair strands later. This part down here is too dark to matter, really. Just wanted to see if that did anything. Yeah, right. So, now we can use the same brush to do her skin at right now, at this point. We're going to make it softer, but first, I want stuff that looks like brush strokes on the skin. We want this to look like a painting. Paintings have brush strokes. And even if it doesn't look good at this point, it's okay. Well, I'm a traditional painter also, and when I first start the painting, traditionally, it doesn't look good. 
initially when I'm doing the underpainting. Make sure to follow the skin patterns here. Go with the skin. Now this is okay, right? I mean, it looks like a painting, like a sloppy painting, but watch this. Now I'm going to use the soft airbrush. Did you find airbrush? This is a soft airbrush. I have it at opacity 10, size 48 at this point. And we're just going to go over this. <laughs> A little bit. We want to keep the brush strokes. That's why the opacity is at 10. My main focus is trying to get the skin on her face or to have her face look good. The rest of the painting will fall into place. Okay, now, you can always come back if we miss something. Now let's get those eyes in. So we're going to use the soft cloner. I have it at 23%. I'm going to bring back the eyes a little bit. But we're not going to leave it like this. I don't leave any of the photo showing in the end product. Now I'm going to use the soft charcoal. And you're going to have to hit this like twice. Because see, if I do this now, this color, even though this says it's using the clone, this color is going to show up. Okay? So, turn this off and then turn it back on again and it'll pick up the color from underneath and you use this to take out all the spots that you've missed and you'll see that it adds some texture, like canvas texture. And don't worry if it still looks like her eyes are photographed. Wait till the end of the video. You'll see what we do. Now, just to put some strands in the hair a little bit. Yeah. You don't need to completely do every hair strand. Just a few. Make sure to cut some of this hair like that. Get the nostrils. Now we're going to make those eyes look more like a painting. So what we'll do is 
click the new layer. Turn this off. Now we have white. I'm going to go into here. We're going to put white here. White there. Now watch this. This is this is something I learned a long time ago in art class. You see how this uh, white just looks white, but yet when you put it in a dark area, it looks brighter. <laughs> yet you never change the brightness of it. All right now, that looks weird, right? So put some here too. I'm going to do is hit the blending modes and hit overlay. Bingo. See that? Now, go to the black. Go over the eyes. Now, if you hold it down the alt and click here it'll pick up these colors go over the lips now you can finish here that's you know that's it you can stop here. Look, it looks like a painting. You know, stop. Go have a coffee. Go brag to your friends. But I'm going to add some stuff to this. I'm going to put some red in her skin. To give us a little more like, lifelike. So we're going to up this up a little bit. I'm going to add some red around here, I'm going to add around here, add some cheeks, around the eyes a little bit. Always, for me, always around where the shadow meets the light. I'm going to throw in some pink stuff. Okay, now, that looks bad. So, Overlay. It's even worse. Lower the opacity. See, now there's some red in her face. Then, go to blue. Gotta go in the shadows. Get some blue over her eyes. Of course, you gotta guess what we're gonna do here, right? Let's throw a few strands in the hair. We're gonna hit overlay. We'll bring this down some. See how this makes the picture pop a little bit? In some areas, you can add some white. Layer, white, and the tip of the nose, and the cheek a little bit. Bring down the opacity. Check it out. You just made a painting. Kind of like less than 15 minutes. So there it is. Cool, right? Bye.